Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate everyone tuning in this afternoon. Wanted to bring you this little tabletop, or what we like to call our Wooby Top review. And this review is of the Best Glide Pocket Survival Kit. And this review is brought to you guys um, by our one of our sponsors over at Stanford Outdoor Supply. Alan Stanford uh, sent me this uh, over at Stanford Outdoor Supply and I'm going to post all that information in the section below for you guys uh, to be able to find everything. Uh, what happened was I had done a video about survival tins and me and Alan uh, are having conversations about you know my videos and what I'm reviewing and why I reviewed this and what I said about this and we got to talk about survival tins and he asked, you know, we got talking about, you know, my opinion on pre-made kits. And I would made a mention in that video that a lot of the pre-made kits just didn't have everything that I liked or wanted in a tin and things like that. And that is true. However, I think pre-made tins, kits, if they are good quality, and I know Best Glide is a good quality product, um, then I think then the pre-made kits have some merit in some different areas especially when you want a smaller condensed size tin or things like that like this size here is uh, it can fit in a back pocket um, not a cargo pocket or something which was one of my requirements that my bigger tin had to have you know it couldn't be bigger than that but um, can you work with smaller yes and there's a few different things that you can do with these smaller kits you can also add to them if they have room in the tin things like that Here's the thing about building your own tin. It can be very expensive, and the reason is because is you're buying one thing at a time, and by the time you pay shipping or this, that, and the other, it uh, and there's a little trial and error with that, too, because you may buy something, and it's like, it's a little big. Give you an example, you know, if you want to try a bigger compass, and then it didn't fit, because, you know, then you had to go back to a button compass, so it can get kind of expensive, but because of what I do and a lot of reviews, I have a lot of this product anyway, and been you know doing survival prepping type stuff for a long time anyway so a lot of times i can build my tins a little easier than some people um, and be somewhat cost effective because i already had a lot of the material here but um, some of these kits um, are good quality like this one and they have a place and i wanted to go over this one me and alan talked about it and uh, he sent me over this one because this right here i did a larger tin with a lot of things going on in it this right here is a much smaller tin that could easily fit in a glove box. It can fit in your hip pocket, even in your front pocket with, you know, just a standard size pocket. It doesn't have to be like an oversized cargo style pocket or anything. These, uh, because of the size and the price and everything, they would make good gifts for people that you're wanting to uh, kind of get prepared in their life. Uh, I do that all the time. I sneak in gifts for people that um, are... Uh, uh, they they're not in the prepping lifestyle so I'll buy them something maybe a set of jumper cables maybe I'm buying you know a kit like this maybe you have somebody in the Cub Scouts Boy Scouts things like that that uh, you want to give them a little tin without having to buy a bunch of things and trying to put a tin together something like this works really well so let's get to the review um, if you notice I've got a couple tins back here for comparison Best Glide sells empty tins just like this which is the same tin this right here is a little bigger than an Altoids tin this right here is more what I call the sardine can size so it's about the size of a sardine can then you have one here is another example that I showed in my video which is a little step up and a little larger this thing comes taped up I've already taken it apart and looked at it one time just to kind of go over what was in it in my you know before I reviewed it but uh, it comes sealed up like this basically with some heavy duty style electrical tape and it has a pretty good seal and that keeps it waterproof and um, that sort of thing keep in mind most survival tins I wouldn't want to work out of a survival tin and what I mean by that is I wouldn't want to just depend on these things for camping so this again is a break glass in case of emergency so I, that's the kind of the mentality so I'm not going to work out of this tin I'm not going to take it in the field take it camping with me take it hunting with me and this is what I'm working out of to do things that I should have brought with me anyway so this is something that you're going to keep sealed know how to use the contents that's in it and then only use it if you need to so and again emergency so it's got a nice uh, quality to it this right here is the empty one and if you look um, i'll go ahead and open it and show you it's nice and durable so it's not going to crush and uh, so let's see what we got going on here so the first thing it does have a little rubber seal around the edge 
so that's going to help keep it waterproof once you put this tin and even though it has the um, uh, tape around it what I would suggest is probably putting some ranger bands around it just to kind of hold it all together and uh, do that that's what I always do so you get a um, little survival guide uh, kit tip here a uh, little pocket guide and it's just a sheet of paper and it talks about mostly how to use a lot of the things that's in your kit so basic survival tips it talks about prepare to survive um, it's got a list of things keep calm you know it talks about medical talks about um, being found if you're lost uh, using your survival uh, and uh, equipment and like the signal mirror and things like that that's in this kit talks about using a compass talks about shelter building wilderness medicine it tells you some things to look for as far as bleeding shock heat stroke um, that sort of stuff survival fishing is on here so this is a, just a nice little guide to have uh, just so because when you get in a when you're stressed and you're not used to that high level of stress your mind kind of goes blank on how to do some things and this right here will occupy your time to be able to read things and and be able to understand oh yeah I remember how to do that now or whatever the case and it may just be a simple reminder again if you gave it to a novice somebody that's not in the prepping lifestyle this right here they can take it out because they're gonna open the tin and then go what's in this thing that you know my brother-in-law or whoever gave me um, I guess he was right I need it so this right here is gonna it's, oh good it's got some tips on here so they may learn just from reading when they need it so what you got going on here it has a wire saw this looks to be one of the better quality wire saws that comes with it it has a nice whistle this is the peeless so you're not going to lose the piece in the middle um, that would actually cause it to blow this right here it has no uh, uh, little pee inside what it's called peeless and then this one's made in england this is an acme uh, tornado very loud it uh, has um, three quick tenders doesn't matter if these get wet these will actually still work and matter of fact they actually burn a little longer if they are wet so you're good there it has a little sewing kit with some safety pins. Looks like it has a little bobbin of um, nylon type threading. So it's not just the little thin cotton type uh, threading. This is actually uh, nylon, so heavy duty. It's got some needles. It's got some stick pins. It's got a uh, needle threader there, different size uh, safety pins. It has a fire starter fair cm rod with a striker built in this one uh, i've already taken the coating off but it throws a good spark and um this right here comes i like this one because it's got this little piece here that actually protects the fair cm rod from breaking or anything so it uh, has a little uh, base unit that it's uh mounted in there it has some utility cord here this is a military grade utility cord that's nylon and I don't know how many feet is here just to guess by knowing uh, cordage I'm gonna say you probably got 10 or 12 feet here in this little bundle little hank of cord uh, you have some snare wire that can be used obviously for making snares making repairs helping with shelter building things like that you have that you have two beeswax candles that are multi-purpose they can be used for quite a few different things you have a derma safe knife which is essentially a razor blade in this nice thick um, plastic shield here that can use as a handle this can be used for processing game um, you know that sort of small game obviously fish uh, turtles and frogs squirrels that sort of thing you have a little silica gel packet here to keep every keep moisture out you have a miniature small fishing kit with some uh, fishing line one artificial grub some extra hooks it also has a um, two or three um, split shot lead split shot to help you keep your line down it has a pencil has two zip ties which come in handy especially if you need to make a quick repair on something or zip tie something to you it has some lifeboat or storm matches 
that uh, you know burn for quite a long time because of the extra fire material on the tip here and it also has a striker this is sealed so it's not going to get wet even if you drop it uh, obviously once you open it it will possibly uh, get wet but um, if this would get submerged these would be protected you have water purification tablets here there's four of those these are catered in brand they um, are the good quality you have a Fresnel lens or a magnifying glass some people like to call it and this can be used for multiple things It can be used to help you, you know, obviously read if you need to maybe you lost your reading glasses And you need to read this would help you be able to do that help you make um, To look uh, when doing first aid as far as splinters or cuts and make sure you don't have trash in a cut or something like that That would actually work for that And it also can be used to make a fire in the sun through solar methods you, uh, you need to if you don't if you're not familiar with that need to learn how to do that use the sun to make fire with a fresnel lens three curad brand uh, band-aids these are the larger ones simple for cuts and things you have a it looks to be a one liter bag that's what I assume this is. So you can actually use this in conjunction with your water purification tablets that you have. It's a Ziploc style bag. I'm pretty sure that's a one liter bag. You have some like strips, stay strips um, that can also, they're like a, um, um, like butterfly closures to close up wounds. If you had uh, some type of wound you need to close up has a button compass this was a liquid field button compass looks to be of good quality um, when it comes to button compasses so and it does point correctly you have a survival mirror and this one here has a coating on the outside a little film that you would peel off and then you would punch out this hole in the center and it actually gives you directions of how to use it and the best methods of using it. And this is non-breakable, guys, by the way. You get um, two decals. Now, I would probably just leave these as is and because they're going to be waterproof because they're made of decal type material they're not a paper and it tells you Morse code which is good uh, if you need to use that and it also gives you the SOS Morse code how to use that which is dot 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 blank 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 dot 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 so you've got that you also have some other type of communication this right here would be where you could draw it uh, for uh, you know somebody passing over an airplane and or you know marking if they understand these um, this type of uh, information. Some people may not, but uh, it's good to just have in here. And uh, but it comes in this nice little tin. It actually has everything that's on the back and uh, tells you exactly what's in the kit, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about that. This is. Um, also, this kit is associated with Boy Scouts of America, so I assume this is a kit that they would probably approve of. And uh, got your just a logo on the front here. But guys, if you're looking for a basic, small, compact survival tin, I think this right here is a good. Uh, one to have it looks to have all good quality products best glide I like their products anyway I buy a lot of their stuff individually and some of their tins and things like that and they've always they sir they actually um, uh, supply some of the military and things and law enforcement and stuff like that and Boy Scouts obviously that we know that and I think if you're looking for a good basic tin again these make great kids for Christmas gifts birthday gifts things like that father you know father gifts uh, for Father's Day mother you know again throw it in your wife's glove box you know she's not on board you know fully with the prepping thing just throw it in the glove box and just tell her hey if you ever need it it's in there break glass in case of emergency that's what these are for guys um, they're not to be worked out of so I'm not going to you know go out and open this up and start doing things when I'm not in a survival emergency situation I've got other things I want to use for that 
But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Again, I want to uh, thank our sponsor, um, Alan, over at Stanford Outdoor Supply for supplying us this. And uh, if you've got any experience with anything like this, uh, be sure to discuss that with us in the comments below. We'd like to have that conversation with you. And uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be bringing you another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.